I can hardly believe it myself. I bought an LED light bulb. They had these on display at the store running and they actually looked satisfactory. Of course how they're going to look in the house you know under normal lighting versus industrial store lighting is a different story but um, they're not very bright they're only 250 lumens but um, and I don't believe they're going to last 15,000 hours. I think that's outrageous. But I have a couple of these lamps. I have two of them. And I'd like to put them on either side of the bed. And I've had a hard time finding good shades for them. So I figured maybe I'll just get a bulb that doesn't require a shade. Um, I do question the build quality of these lights because a lot of them in the store I was looking at them, a lot of them are broken on the inside. That, that glass part there right there that was broken I don't know if that's necessarily a design flaw or a function of shipping but uh, for whatever reason that was broken on a lot of them but uh, anyways I think this was about nine dollars so it better it better perform pretty well it looks fine shape of the bulb and everything is like the old ones were There's like a kind of a haze on there, but uh, you know, it's it's, uh, it's actually not bad. It's got that kind of yellowy uh, color to it that these uh, incandescent style replica ones have as well. So that's not too bad. Does this say what color it is? It doesn't say. Fiat Electric is a decent brand. Tragically, these are um, made in China. Now, it claims to be dimmable. It's got some information on there. Twenty one hundred Kelvin. It looks about that. So this claims that it can be dimed down a little bit, so let's see how that's going to work. That doesn't seem to be working, I don't know if that's a function of my controller not cooperating, there it goes. It's a little flickery. I don't know if it's going to pick up on video or not. This is one of the things I don't like about these light bulbs, is that because of the way the electronics work in there, they have a refresh rate, and <clears throat> you can see it's doing weird things to the camera. It does weird things to your eyes, too, and it gives a lot of people a headache, uh, myself included. But these will just be used as like a background light, so it may not be too bad. Um, I mean, it's okay. I don't think it's as good as the incandescent ones are. The fact that it's got the haze on there is kind of annoying. And it looks like it's on the inside. Well, I don't know, I'm not too impressed. It's for nearly ten dollars. Maybe I'll take these back, I don't know. Okay, so I went back to the store and I took a light bulb back and I got another one. And this one does not have a haze to it. So this one, of course, <laughs> it's kind of beat up on the outside, but it's made in China. What do you expect? So this one is okay. It's it it does dime, but not quite as well as I think it should be. It's got a little bit of a flicker to it when it's turned down pretty low. Not as bad as the first one did, though. So. I don't know. It's okay. I'm going to keep it, but I think it's overpriced. <laughs>